Okay, I want to explain something to you about painting. Is that paint does not hide your, I'm not going to use this, but the, this color of it. Paint does not hide your mistakes, it shows them. What I mean by that is that paint is basically a solid, which is in the bottom of this can, with about 80% of liquid, which allows you to put it liquefied onto a panel. The paint will dry into whatever surface it finds. If you have all these little um, divots right here, it will sink into there and it, you will see the outline of them. That's why when we sand, we talk about feathering. Feathering is like, I would say like right here, where we have the edge of the paint right here, we have the old panel here, and you can't feel it. The, 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 the trick of the day with painting is a painter will use his hands. He uses his palm right here, he uses his fingers, he uses his thumb. You'll see a painter, he'll go over a surface, especially if he's, you know, he's taking on a job. He'll do it just like if I had a Brazilian 19 year old, really good looking girlfriend's chichis, and I, I was uh, seeing if she needed a paint job. But if you can feel any imperfection, any anything in your hands, you're going to see it in the paint. The painter wants to make the, the thing as smooth as humanly possible. So that when he puts on the paint, he's only got one time to put it on. He can't just sand it out and redo it. It doesn't work that way. Not in auto body. You have to be, you have to do it once and that's it. That's why all the preparation takes so many hours and putting on the paint doesn't take that long even though that's a different art in itself. But a paint job is only as good as the prep work. Now you can see this. It looks kind of neat, blue and everything. And to an untrained eye you're going, God, that's that's really a nice job. To me, I'm, I'm, to me, I'm insulted. Why? I want to show you why. Because I painted this in... This weird day, it was partially window, but it windy, but it had um, pollen. And if you'll no look right here, you'll notice where I got too much clear right there. There's too much clear right there. There's also too much clear right here. And where is it? There's little tiny pieces of uh, blue fleck in there. Now to me that's that's bad because when I go out on the street my paint work I want it to be flawless 100%. I want somebody to come up look at this and say damn you did a nice job. You know what and when someone says that it's worth all the effort in the world. The deal is that any of you out there any of you young guys and I, I would say young guys because it's mainly guys that are working on these I don't know maybe girls work on them and I'm not all around the world, so I don't know. But you, you always, you know, guys will will build these bikes and do it in the winter and do it whenever. They want someone to come up and compliment them and say, "Hey, that's that's a that's a great job. That's a reflection of the owner." And I will go up on the street and I will see some of these 19-year-old guys with their cars. I don't know what kind of car it is, but they put the right wheels on it, the right accents. It doesn't look there, there are guys that make these cars look low, clean, and dangerous, and there are other guys that go full Filipino. Now, when I say Filipino on their rigs, I don't mean that as an insult. What I mean is that Filipino, the pictures I've seen of their buses and their cars, there is nobody that outblings, outpimps the Filipinos. Nobody. Nobody on this earth. They have the most loudest bling cars a hundred miles away I can see a glint in the sky and I know it's a Filipino bus with with um, bling all over it some guys put too much of that on on in, in America they try too hard that's I guess that's what I'm trying to say others they may do good on the paintwork but they let the plastic go 
or they may do good on the paint work and the plastic and they let the wheels go me when I go out on the street I want this bike to be a reflection just like a set of clothes a reflection of me and my lifestyle I want people to say damn that's a nice bike I have no idea what it is it's making a lot of noise it sounds like a chariot chainsaw on steroids the guy must be totally fucking crazy but I like it so I hope I haven't gone on too long but like I say this is a just a basic re reflection of uh, a moment in my life that cat just wants to get in that shed and piss on something oh yes now we got her excuse me excuse me where are you, what are you doing huh see how this cat just just casually oh no I wasn't doing anything can't trust cats can't trust cats or women rock on